Hey, we've got an exciting project going on today. It is a shadow box that we're doing for Wizard that's gonna be in the booth at the West Coast Art and Frame Show coming up in January. And of course, we're gonna rock this shadow box and knock it out of the park. So I'm excited to uh, share with you how I did it. inspiration for this design is this tiny little detail that's in the jersey, the Seahawk wings. They've used it there, they've used it up here on the collar. So what I've started to do here is in the design, just combine two shapes. I'm going to drop this in and this shape right here is going to get me what I'm looking for. All right, so here's the next step. We took the design over into the cut side of the program and then click trace. That's going to open it up for editing. So the first thing we need to do is select the entire design. Then we're going to explode the circuits, breaking everything apart, allowing me to go in and edit and delete the segments that I don't want in the design. So it's super simple. Just click, 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 delete, and bam, the design's looking better. So the next is adjusting the arc. Just pick up that point at the top, drag it down to join the other segment. Now that's not quite what I want, so dragging it again to get the perfect arch of the left side of the wing. So now we need to make the right side. So all we're gonna do is select and copy, and then we're gonna mirror that, flip it, and then we have the perfect segment. I'm gonna drag it down into place, snap it right there, and voila. Next portion is we need to join all these segments together. Now it's very important to join them in order so that the machine, when it goes to cut, will cut properly. So we'll just click right around the design, join all the segments together. So the next part is setting the bevels. We need to tell the machine how I want it cut and I've got lots of choices there. I'm gonna go with a 45 degree bevel on this one. And then I'm gonna save this in my program as a piece of cut art. So I'm gonna save it to the database. Um, there's a drop down menu for category names. I've got my own special, Meg's Cut Art. And we're just gonna call this Seahawk. Great, save it, bam. How easy is that? Okay, so after importing the Seahawks wings as cut art now, I've just placed it in the corner of the mat board there and by copying and pasting, I can get those 50 some wings that I'm gonna need to cut. So I'm just gonna keep copying and pasting, dropping it into place and building the whole mat cut design from there. best part about this is the machine did all the work. And now for a little video magic. I got to go back in and tell you how I applied these cutouts to the backing mat. I forgot to film it. Um, so what I first did is take the template, the cutout, and use that as a tracing template to outline the placement so all of these are going to be placed properly. Then I simply just glued these wings onto the mat board. Then I used a spray adhesive glue and glued the boards and then the back of this fabric, which is really fascinating. I just found this at a fabric store. It is like a rubberized, crazy material that I loved it because it looks like liquid silver, which I thought would be look so great in the shadow box. And just glued the two on, was very careful to um, press everything down nice and neat. Uh, so everything looks great. All right, so I've got this rubber fabric, I guess, over the top of the mat, that's all in place. We've stretched the jersey on a tight board and now it's time to sew it down. So I've just started by poking some um, holes right through the mat. And getting everything in place and then I'm just gonna sew the jersey down. All right, it's time to make the side walls. And I'm using this great bright green color, Seahawks green. 
So I'm doing a combination of both ATG on the back of the mat and just a little bit of glue on the foam core just to make sure that, well, since these have to ship, that they're all in great shape and they're gonna last. All right, so we're coming to the finishing touches on this. Here's what I've done so far. I've installed the Optium Museum Acrylic. Uh, the Trivia OMA is perfect for this because it's anti-static. It's UV blocking and lightweight, so it's perfect for traveling to the Vegas show. I've added the bright green walls. I've ATG'd and, and glued them inside the edges of the frame. Next, I want to line with a fillet inside that so it'll um, really help define the piece. So I'm just measuring and marking. I'm gonna cut everything and uh, install it. All right, and here's the finished product. We've got all those little wings cut in there with the liquid silver fabric over the top of it. The sides lined in that bright lime green and the fillet. I think this whole project just really looks awesome. Hope you like it.